All right, let me show you a trick. I really like this one. Um, so the metal oscillator cans, okay, so if this is a metal oscillator can, um, there are four pins on it. And one of the pins is a uh, VCC and one of the pins is ground. And then this one is a uh, out. And uh, my little uh, oscillator, I have a, uh, I think it's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to capacitively couple it out. And then I put it on a little, a little coax connector. Okay, so that's what I have here. And this is 70 megahertz. Megahertz. And it outputs a CW signal. Right, but uh, you can actually add modulation quite easily to these things, um, and it's something that I saw once, and I just thought it was the greatest idea ever. So you bring the VCC out, and um, if you have zero volts and five volts. That's what you. That's what you input to the the VCC. You you put in five volts. But what if your five volts wiggled up and down? Okay, what does that do? Well, that means this thing still operates, but the output wiggles up and down too. Um, and if the output wiggles up and down, you're modulating. And so, I actually saw this circuit first in um, people who were restoring old AM radios. Now, if you've ever listened to the AM band l lately, uh, there's a very, very limited subject matter that you can listen to. And so people want to be able to play um, really nice you know, their CD collections into their AM radio collection, right? And so they built a little circuit that wiggled this five volts up and down with an audio signal. Um, and they, they broadcast uh, into a tiny little antenna and they had their own little AM station just by wiggling the, uh, wiggling the uh, VCC up and down, okay? So uh, I had this little, uh, uh, this little 70 megahertz uh, oscillator that I built, uh, 12 dB, and it's exactly like this, like this circuit that I just showed, okay? And, uh, it has an output, and I have the output going into an attenuator, a 30 dB attenuator, and then into a spectrum analyzer. And so uh, normally I would have this hooked up to a 5 volt power supply, but today I'm going to hook it up to a function generator. So let me show you that. So for a lot of my videos, I've been using this uh, 33120A arbitrary waveform recorder, uh, recorder, I keep on saying recorder, uh, generator. And uh, this ARP generator is really, really nice for all kinds of stuff. But the one thing that it's not good at is DC offsets. I don't know why, but it's just not good at DC offsets. Um, so I've got my old crusty one over here. Uh, I've got my 8111A, and it is great for offsets. It's actually, the output section is really quite heavy duty. A really big voltage range, really big uh, offset range. It really is a grunt. So for workhorse stuff, this thing is really, really great. Uh, so I've set it up for uh, 10, uh, 10 kilohertz of modulation. It's set to AM, uh, uh, sine wave uh, modulation for AM. And uh, I have the uh, amplitude set uh, at some arbitrary number, doesn't really matter what it is. And then I have an offset applied of uh, 2.6 volts. And so the whole thing's going to be uh, up. And so anyway, uh, so let me show, that, show you that on, a, um, on an oscilloscope. Okay, so this is what the uh, waveform generator is outputting. So zero is in the center. I'm at two volts per scale. So this is two, four, and then half of a division is five. So the crests of the uh, sine waves are cresting at five volts, and then it's going below. So it's, it's, it's dipping down at, uh, at a 10 kilohertz rate. So uh, that is the VCC 
Uh, going into the uh, canned oscillator, the 70 megahertz canned oscillator, and uh, then it goes into the uh, spectrum analyzer. So let me move the camera around. We'll take a look at that. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we get a very, very nice looking uh, AM modulated signal. And I'm very, very happy to report that the latest software revision uh, for the nano, uh, for the, um, for the tiny SA, uh, seems to be getting a modulation correct. I didn't have to apply any manual, uh, um, attenuation settings and stuff. It does seem to have, uh, captured the waveform correctly. So I don't know if I just got lucky or, uh, uh, it's actually working good. So let's go over to the function generator and I will change the, uh, frequency modulation. I will uh, go down to five, well, let's see, here's six, here's six kilohertz. And, uh, yeah, so this has a frequency bandwidth of three. So six mega, uh, six kilohertz is about as much as you, uh, you know, on paper it would say that I can still resolve two times Nyquist or whatever. Um, and here's five kilohertz, but I'd say it's still working at five kilohertz. Uh, four kilohertz. Yeah, four kilohertz. It's, uh, I mean, you can tell that there's modulation there, right? Let's go to the Nyquist, which is three kilohertz. And there you see it's not quite working right. And there's some asymmetry to the filter and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, a double Nyquist, it's doing, it's doing just great. Uh, this is uh, six, six kilohertz. And uh, yeah, it's working really good. So anyway, uh, it's a cool little trick. Um, go back to, go back to the, uh, diagram. So it's a cool little trick if you haven't seen it. Uh, just some, any old random, uh, oscillator, and then you wiggle the voltage up and down and you AM modulate. All right. I should probably mention, um, you know, I had those, uh, high powered op amps that I got. They were good for 70 milliamps, which certainly is enough to drive an oscillator. So you could, uh, uh, drive your oscillator. Uh, VCC with an op amp and then the op amp can be uh, uh, configured you know for some for some input and it'll wiggle up and down and then uh, at the other end you can put your DC offset so let's say your DC offset was uh, f was four volts and so you 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 DC offset the output to four volts and then you wiggle that four volts up and down a volt um, would give you a really nice, uh, nice way to, uh, to, uh, to build this circuit. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the circuit looked like that was doing that AM radio modulation. It was a long time ago, but, uh, something like this would work just great.